permaculture, the permaculture, that out the permaculture, that getting the permaculture, that out the permaculture. It's never been so sunny over here in Florida right now. The time, the perfect time to, to check out your plants over here in Florida is during the evening time. Right now it's about six, almost close to seven o'clock. The sun is just probably like three quarters of a way down to the horizon. Um, and when it's this time, during the evening time in South Florida, I mean, your plants are gonna look so amazing. The sun is at its perfect angle, it shines. It makes all your plants, like it turns the contrast of all the lighting. Like, it's just unbelievable what you can see when you come out in your backyard during the evening or anywhere, wherever your garden is. But I'm gonna give you a tour. I'm gonna give you a little tour to show you guys my how my plants are doing. My papaya in particular and my sugar cane so let's go take a walk walk with me walk with me <laughs> okay so i'm squatting on the ground right now i mean i'm just under my papaya trees and these trees are like literally giving so much shade right here like this is how it looks um i'm sorry for the craziness but this is how it looks right now I got this is how the floor bed of the papayas look right now just been basically watering them with my compost tea you see right over there and they've been doing pretty good I got my oregano growing my herbs growing um, when I when I before I mowed this area right here this oreg this oregano was like crawling everywhere so I just I didn't give a crap so I just mowed it and got in there with my hands and cleaned it up a bit but I wanted to show you some papayas that are growing. I don't know if you can see that, I don't know. But there goes a few papayas right there, maybe three. And there's a few more growing up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's a few big ones right here growing towards the bottom. Let me see, I can't see it through the camera. The sun is in my eye. But there goes a papaya, whoa. There goes a papaya right there. Let me walk around and here there's the trees are the leaves are getting everywhere here is a big nice papaya you can see right there papaya is very sweet it has a sweet flavor it kind of has like a coffee taste the more you make it turn yellow like normally people will pick papaya when they're green but pick a papaya if you especially have a tree in your around your yard you want to wait till the papaya turns yellow once it turns yellow then you're gonna have a creamy succulent sweet tasting papaya it's gonna taste so good so sweet kind of has like a coffee flavor but it tastes absolutely incredible it tastes so light and fluffy and it's, and it's you know nutritionist for us it's very low in calorie as well but i wanted to show you oh no i can't show you right now the sun is just crazy but these papayas man let me see if i can get in this angle right here look at the height i'm sorry for the video shaking but check out the height of that papaya. I mean, they're they're grown the same height as my banana tree, and that's pretty that's pretty up there. I don't know why the camera. Oh, because of the sun. The sun is that way. That's why it's looking a little bit weird. But these these trees. I mean, if I were to stand next to them, these trees would look pretty pretty crazy in height. Um, I can't get up there. I can't touch that. That's pretty tall. And. Uh, but if you come towards the base of the the base of the uh, the papayas, I mean these things are pretty pretty. These things are a tree, man. You can see that. This is a very strong and sturdy in the ground. I'm trying to shake it right now, and I have no sense of movement whatsoever. I mean, this is definitely pretty strong in there. The roots are in there pretty strong. But I notice when I come down to cut my papaya tree, when I cut it. It's very hollow inside. And what I do with it, I strip it all of its leaves. I just trim off all of the leaves and make it like a pure stick basically. And then I just lay it as a floor bed, like as you see right there, or I'll lay it as my, my little walk paths, things like that. That's how I use my, I use, I like to recycle things and use them as decoratives around the, uh, around my garden. But as of now, they're flourishing pretty green so I'm liking that well, alright guys I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I'm gonna make another video on my sugarcane um, I feel like this video was a little bit too long I don't want to make it 
I don't want to have like you sitting there for like 10 hours a day, you know, watching my videos. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys subscribe. Make sure to like the video. Like the video if you guys could. And um, I'll see you guys next video. It's time to go eat some oregano. <laughs>